All right, you two, we are back. We're going to talk about structure today. Structure, in my opinion, is one of the most misunderstood concepts of Wing Chun. Simply put, what do we talk about structure? Balance. Okay, you got four directions of balance. You got front, back, side, side. Maintaining that structure in a fight is, maintaining that balance in a fight is, is structure. Wing Chun, when we go back to the whole idea that Wing Chun was developed by a woman, which in my opinion it was not, it's a misconception, and that's going to lead to the whole idea of, well, you know, a smaller person can overcome a larger person. To be honest and honest, you know, a 110 pound woman cannot overcome a 200 pound man. It, it's going to be extremely difficult. So, when, when I first met with Nick, you know, one of the things he didn't like with Wing Chun is, is the idea that Wing Chun waits for a person to come in. And I didn't understand, to be honest, you know, what that's like. And I, I, where's he getting that information? Then I realized that, yes, all of us when we're taught Wing Chun are taught to take punches from a static position, Matt throws a roundhouse punch, you know, here. So what you're doing in the beginning of your Wing Chun career is you, you got a series of drills. You know, you learn how to punch, you learn how to do your movements, you're learning how to take energy, okay? If Matt throws a punch, this is what typical people think of when they think of Wing Chun. You know, it's just the typical Tan Sao for a roundhouse punch and then a straight shot. Let's punch again, boom, again. You do thousands and thousands of reps with this. And for the most part, people get bored and they leave Wing Chun because they can't see the value in the practical application in the fight. There truly is none. What you're doing is you're learning for you to build your structure. If I throw a punch on Matt, the goal for this is for him now to set everything into motion and relax. Focus on your hips and your core. I'm going to give pressure coming in a little bit. Now, Matt's got four directions that he wants to pay attention to. Can you take pressure in this way? Sure. While staying in this stance, can you take pressure this way? Oh, I'm sorry, he's starting to waver a little bit. Can you take pressure this way? And then this way. That's where you're learning to train. So I'm going to feed him a punch again. I'm going to correct him a little bit. He can take pressure going this way. Drop this down. Relax. Boom. You can take that. Can't take pressure this way because his arm's too far extended. Relax it. Now put it in your hips. Dig your hip down to the ground. Now he can take pressure that way. This way. This way. This is learning how to build structure. So now he understands, his body says, okay, this is where I need to be when I fight. So I'm gonna throw a punch again. And then he throws in that punch at the same time. Boom. Good. Now you gotta settle in because that's not where we were before. Good. Again. Good, you can see he's wavering. Now he's start coming a little bit harder. Good, now attack. Boom. This is where you learn to develop your structure from a static position. The, you'll see the myth people, you know, like, uh, and Sifu Sergio, he did this great video and I'm so glad he did it and I thank him for it. He's talking about, you know, he's got his arms out and somebody pushes on the outside of my arms, they're pushing in and he showed how this constant buildup of pressure, somebody can take it in their back leg and all they have to do is redirect that energy going up, and you get a whole string of guys behind him, push, push, it's on my back leg, push, push, and you get 10, 15 guys behind him, and there's a, you know, a Wing Chun master who has this scale on the ground, and you see the scale goes up to 300 pounds. That's not how fights are. There's a difference between, okay, set yourself, set yourself, okay, set, set, good, you set your structure, find your hips, dig them down, dig them down, dig them down, good, yeah, you gotta adjust yourself, good, dig them down, good, oh, Matt's got structure. I feel the energy go right back into me, okay? There's that, and there's that, where he's not ready for it. And that's real fighting application. So structure is nothing more than testing your balance. And if you're in Wing Chun, and you're in the beginning stages of a class, and you got a classmate throwing a punch at you, you've gotta learn that this, okay, give me pressure. Okay, this is where I need to be. All right, step back. This is where I take my best level of pressure. Not here, not here, not here. You learn where your structure lies. So that when Matt throws a punch, you have to end up. Step back, same place I trained it for. Keep in mind, human body. We walk head over hips over feet. We don't walk like this, don't walk like this, and we don't walk like this. You walk with a structure, head over hips over feet. So you fight, you can't be like this. You can't be like this. You have to find where that pressure is. It's gonna be a little pressure. Okay, that's where I feel the best. So I feel it's going to my back leg. I still have control of my front leg. My elbow's still good. Matt pushes in. I can take that pressure. It's good. He moves back. I'm not moving. 
okay? So all pressure testing from the beginning has to be done at a slow, controlled pace in every drill you have to make sure that you, the common denominator in every fight, you're not, you're not reaching for something, you're not crammed up for something, you're, you are in your structure. So I hope that makes sense so that ultimately when you apply it to Chi Sao, you know, you're not leaning forward, you're not pushing in, you're not uh, coming back, you are where you need to be all the time. So your pressure structure is based off of your body mechanics, where you need to be. That's your structure. Can you take balance one, two, three, and four, four ways all at the same time instantaneously? There is no, okay, can you deal with that? There's massive fast paced striking. So in Wing Chun, structure is nothing more than your body's ability to take balance pressure this slow or this fast and keep your balance while taking theirs. All right, that's all we got in the video. We'll see you on the next one.